Day two here in Dharamshala was clean, clear, no clouds in the sky, the sun was out in its full glory and the majestic Dolara range in the backdrop had a fresh luster you know, of the of the sun rays falling on it and it, it looked very very good. It was all white and you know what after what happened after that there was very little attention paid to the Dolada ranges because Rohit Sharma and Shuman Gill with that 171 run stand put on a visual treat for the fans. Starting from that six, which Shuman Gill hit of James Anderson dancing down the track and lofting him, uh, lofting it straight back over the bowler's head, I think was probably the shot of the series because Shuman has looked looked in control. He looked good. There was a nervy hundred in Vishakhapatnam. He followed it up with another good dock in Rajkot, but I think he saved his best for the series for the final match of the series because he looked a different beast altogether today. The conditions allowed him, you know, to go about his fluent fluent stroke play. There wasn't much happening in the, uh, in the air or off the surface and Shubman looked in complete control and he had Rohit Sharma for company who was not at a, not as fluent as uh, Shubman I would say because his approach was slightly different. He preferred to smother the spin rather than just go after the spinners. He did go after spin but his approach was more old school and traditional and Shubman went about doing Shubman went about doing business in the manner which we have seen in the past. And this knock should do a world of good to his confidence because the fluency was back, the follow through was back, everything which he could have hoped for is back and now India's number 3 is here to stay. The father in an interview with the press said that he still prefers his son to play as an opener but Shubman has made that choice of batting at 3 and the performance in the series kind of kind of says that you know he has made peace with the position and he's looking good, he's growing in confidence with every passing knock and this, this series scoring runs in different conditions and different situations should do his confidence a world of good. Now talking about confidence, one player looked in complete confidence. The start wasn't as convincing as you would have liked. There were some edges here and there, but Dev Dutt Padikal scored his maiden half century at the HPC Stadium in Dharamshala with a 6. He completed the half century with a 6. Looked very good and they, it's a different sight seeing these left-handers in full flow. He stalled 6-3 and when the cover drives come, they look a different uh, different player altogether and that that's absolutely beautiful to watch a left-hander in full flow and David Patikul was one today. Both him and Sarfaraz Khan would be disappointed to miss out on big scores because hundreds was hundreds were there for taking nothing much was happening off the wicket and Shoaib Bashir would consider himself very lucky that he got four wickets because Shuman and uh, Rohit showed him you know how that you know he's going to struggle in these conditions. He did struggle for most of the morning, but after that freak, uh, freak first delivery by by Ben Stokes. Why I call it freak because this was his first delivery in months, and he got the England captain out, disturbed his woodwork. I don't know who writes Ben Stokes scripts, but they are absolutely freak, and that's what happened today. You know, first ball after so many months, you get the Indian captain out. What else you could ask for? Now talking about the match, I think India are still very and truly in control. They are dominating this game. They have taken. They have already taken a, a 200 plus run lead, very healthy lead in control. Kuldeep and Jasprit Bumrah are still battling out there looking to add on runs and pile on the misery on England who have mentally kind of checked out of the series already What after what happened yesterday, the middle order meltdown. They are not looking the side which they probably did in Hyderabad. A lot has happened since then. They have been completely outplayed in the next three test matches and even this test match, they have they yet to put up a fight. You know, just, just uh, don't read too much into what Shoaib Bashi did, did today. But England looked a very checked out side. Mark Wood was just trying to bounce the batters out, but these players are too good to be worried about, worried by a uh, quick pace. And Sarfaraz showed that, you know, there were question marks about him handling quality and raw pace, but the way he handled Mark Wood early in the spell and then went on to r uh, play those ramp shots and that beautiful pull shot, uh, I think it, it showed that he's, he, he is he belongs to Test cricket, third half century already in the series. So this Indian team is, continues to grow in confidence, already are 3-1 up and could well be 4-1. So you keep watching Cricket Next because we'll bring you more updates from Ground Zero. So hit the bell icon, click the subscribe button, follow us across our social media handles because we will ensure that you don't miss a ball. So keep watching.